What's up, everybody? Welcome back into the Badlands. This is Third Person Podcast. I'm Chris. That's Mike. We're back. What's up? We're in it, Mike. Yes, we are. We're down. We're down in the in the in the dirt. What'd you think, man? Episode one, man. Fucking awesome. It was good, right? Right. It's it's a breath of fresh air. I love, and I, I we talked a little bit about this, but dude, the pacing yeah. of the episode is something that. I probably enjoyed most with the episode, you know now, what I mean? Now you mean, it's, okay, so be more specific as in what? As far as just character traveling and characters going from one place to the next to, uh, to be specific. It's like, all right. So, so Henry, he's, he's sick. He, uh, Sonny brings him to this, this couple uh, who says they can't help him. It's like, all right, go to this lady. You know, it's a day's travel, whatever she said. But he was immediately there. All right, then, right, and then he, right. and then it cuts to something to someone else, and then he ends up being there too. Yeah, good There's stuff, no, man. It's not, it's not slow. Let's and, hope, let's hope that that maintains. You know, you know, obviously, well, if if there has to be something that happens while someone's traveling, great. But I mean, this show was never really, this show never really suffered from you know that drag you know like what i pain, mean yeah no i understand like but a pain, but, but after but after the walking dead at this point you're like yes and I, and i hate it. and i hate to compare the two because there's two yeah, totally okay. different shows it, though. it's for an amc series it's it's off the charts and you know how i am when it comes to reunions i love everybody coming together i love that stuff i love the aria sansa stark yeah. stuff i love you know, the and and we got it right away. Yeah, and you know uh, what I liked about with that? Baji and, and this is uh, this is what Sai. I liked about that. They just we just kind of showed up. It's like it's like almost like the beginning of a new of a of a of a new story, right? Yeah. When when you when when we meet new characters, we're in the middle of something of theirs, right? And that's what happened. So we're in the middle. So Tilda, she's now this thing, and badass. And, and her and Odessa, this is what they're doing. They're the, the they're the Iron Rabbits, which we'll find out more about, right? And then yeah. and then you see that um, uh, uh, Ryder's mom. What's her name again? Lydia. 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 She's just she's taken over her dad's thing, but now she's made it more of a ref, more of a refugee instead of just like mm-hmm. this this cult looking thing, you know. And then we meet, and then we see that you know Tilda finds Beji, and Beji's just being him. He's been living his thing. He's got some nice purple threads on, you know. But that's right. the thing, like. And the same thing, Sonny's been, everyone's been, we catch everybody doing their thing. We don't, we didn't, there wasn't this long like, oh, well, this is, and then I loved when they came back when Sonny and him are drinking and then he's like, eh, and then I just patched myself up and I just kind of just was hung, hang, hung out. Like, yeah. it was like, that was it. Two sentences, done. I recapped everything for you, Sonny. Yeah. It was funny with Baji and Sonny. And Baji's asking to borrow some some money from uh, from Sunny for I'll buy you a drink kind yeah. of thing. It's just um, Baji has that very selfish personality, but still he's he's a good guy. He's a he's good just, guy, but he but he's, he's looks out for number one. You know, a lot yeah. and we and and this was a great opener. This was just a great opener. We got a lot of a lot of cool things. You know, Henry's sick, and you and you see you see him taking care of his dad and. You know the fight in the in the camper. We'll get to in a minute, but you know he turns out that he is the gift. Baji says he yeah. is. I haven't seen anyone, you know, like this young have it this or young whatever, or whatever. Yeah. He is the gift or whatever. And like, I thought Just it was wait, funny waiting waiting to see Henry pop up and start. Uh... Yeah, <laughs> but you notice how? But you notice how he was able to? Sonny was able to bring him back. He's the, like he he touched him and he held him and he came back. You know because he was like. He had, he, you know, they, and the woman was hilarious. The nurse was like, I don't know what I did. I don't know what happened. I don't know. And she's handing that in the baby, you know? Yeah, it's um, interesting about a possible lineage now. Does that mean that um, Sonny has it or Vale had Sonny that? Sonny or Vale, right. Who, is what it, is, is it? Let me ask you this. Let me pose you this question. Is it a genetic thing or is it because now we have a presence of Azra? That it awoke something, so it might not necessarily but it's be. Still, but it would still essentially genetic. be. It would still essentially be a genetic. It's it's kind of like a your Jedi, right? The Jedi have to be connected to another. Oh no, that's not true. Jedi don't have to be connected, do they? Well, it does. does it's, after you're right. The force, that was a uh, dumb thing I said. Sorry. Wow, that was really dumb. <laughs> we'll cut that out, right? For all the Star Wars. Nah, fans. it's fine. I no, was no. my mistake. I'll take it on no, the chin for that. For, but you're right. For, it could be. It could be something that. But hey, hey, hey. 
could what, this what? could the could the this this gift be something could the gift be a side effect of what ended the world mm, did you ever think of that i did not think of that um maybe something happened and they caused this mutation in these people that now have this latent ability Right. I wonder if the dude, they can go anywhere with this. This is this is this is great. It, it is really cool. It re- right? is really cool. I'm excited that we're finally getting Azra stuff because we've really been hearing about not it just Azra while. stuff, you know, but just oh, more but, but that, more mystical. I like it. Just give me that more. You know, I want to I want to talk about uh, Moon and the Widow. Yes. You know, and, and speaking of of mystical stuff. Now, that was a fantastic fight. And, mm. you know, I did I did feel it is is it getting a little too crouching tiger hidden dragon with all the landing on the on the the blades and the, think, and the the high flying stuff now i'll i'll just I would say no i personally would say no way I right it. i mean i i actually agree with that I, that's why i was just posing the question this, this do yeah. you guys think does anybody think that that is too much because that i feel like that type of action you know it's an acquired taste like not everybody likes that stuff that high flying wire work I think it's great that it's on TV. Like it's for the, the fact that they're able to do what they do on TV. You know what I mean? And like this, this rivals some movies, you know, this rivals movies that, you know, movies that do it. Sorry. I couldn't get the words yeah. out, you know? Yeah. Um, I think it was, dude, the, the, when, when, uh, you know, our, our pal Sherman Augustus, uh, Nathaniel, uh, Nathaniel Moon, yeah. Moon was, was fighting the widow. I think one of the coolest scenes of the fight was when the widow kicked, those swords up and mm-hmm. when she was in there she 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 shot those swords at at him by you know by kicking him. and then they used them as like a step to climb to to kind yeah. of get up the tower the one thing that i told you and listen the fights are the fights are awesome so we can yeah. get into them for sure but we'll talk about which one you know we think are some of our favorite fights but the one little thing that i just thought was odd and it just happened to be within the nathaniel moon and the widow fight was just their leaping the the just it seemed a little, a little more unnatural, like a little unnatural, a little slow, a little slow. If yeah. they were, if they leaped a little faster, I think it would, it would have worked better for you. You say but that's, it would, it that's being yeah. really, really, yeah, that's being right, really, that's really being critical. Different. I thought, I mean that, you know, I liked, I liked seeing him like that. I love seeing moon in the way he was still able to use and you know, his, his using his, using his offhand, obviously. And, but he, when he, you know, um, throws his arm out and the rebar comes out even further, you know, like yeah, that extends. Yeah. And what's cool is he says to her that all the people that he's killed since losing his hand has all been practiced for his left hand. Like, I thought that was so cool. Yep. You know, um, I'm just I'm really psyched that he's back and he looks he looks dapper as all hell. In, well, the, in the widow blues, right? you the know, costumes, with the, with the, hat, the costumes you know? are insane. That's one one thing that AMC always has right. Um, with oh, the he said you like Tilda's costume. Some... See, I had one thing. Go ahead, tell me about I, Tilda's costume. I just the thought colors it was, were great. I, I mean, the colors were great. She and I loved the mask. Jared you know? Leto, dude. No, not yeah. for nothing. But my wife was like watching with me and stuff. But she was like kind of half watching, and she looks yeah. up and she's like, "Oh my god, that does look like Jared Leto." Because I'm like, "Oh, Jared Leto's back." <laughs> that he, she looks so much like she does Oscar, look... Oscar winning Jared Leto, right? Um, but um, yeah, it was, I, you I mean. Wanna... You want to get into some of the fighting? What well, you, in a yeah. second, I want to talk about Tilda's costume. It looked amazing. Yeah. However, those shoulder pads, I can't. I just can't, man. Those shoulder pads are just like, I what? I didn't notice. I have to Dude, check her yeah, out again, that, but I didn't notice so her shoulder pads compared to the fact that I just think that um, it was just a badass costume, badass name. I like the Iron Rabbit. I think that's pretty I wonder fucking... who's, yeah, I wonder who's, like, is it her? Is it, did she join someone I think else? It's, I, I mean... think it's just her. <clears throat> Because when they arrived at Lydia's camp, the messenger didn't say the Iron Rabbits. Mm. He said, uh, you know, just Iron Rabbit. Um, and I, I mean, obviously it's her, her I don't know if they would call them mercenaries, but they're kind of like a rogue kind of group that, um, you know, that takes out. Uh, almost so, um, <clears throat> almost like Widow's soldiers stuff. of fortune. Let's, yeah. let's, not, let's, let's not forget about um, Pilgrim. Yeah, uh, Nixon Caster because big big thing at the end there. Um, and you and I were talking off off a of camera. We were saying how well, first of all, the fact that they can control the power themselves. I love how mm. they get into it though. I love it. They just a little slice, and they're already marked yeah. up. And they see you see the scars. That's what I want. The monks, the monks were cool last season, mm-hmm. right? 
because mm-hmm. they were able to do it whenever they wanted. Yeah. Right? Weren't they able to just control it? I don't remember them cutting themselves. If no, that's but that's saying. what I'm saying. So yeah. they had that ability to control it. But I but I like this in that these guys are raw. Like Caster and Nix are just raw. And yeah. they they seem to maintain a sense of self. But also you you bought you pointed out pointed it out to me that when Caster double swords that dude after he flips onto the dude and he he bashes him through yeah, the okay, floor. Yeah. He snaps out of it for a second, but he almost it's like there's a like, there's, there's a rem- like a sympathy a, or something. Like a remorse, yeah, like, like a remorse. what am I doing? Yeah. yeah. And then he sees and then he sees his sister. I, I sister, brother? I don't think they're I don't think it's a related thing. Either way, he sees her, his partner, yeah. and she looks at him like, Oh crap. And he he almost gets killed and she saves him and he goes right back into it. Notice how he goes right back into it without cutting himself again. So he, I guess he's already got the adrenaline go. So there's a lot. Sorry, hit my mic. There's a lot of questions. There's a lot of questions. There's a, there's mm-hmm. a, there's a, now, is it? I would love for it to be like, I, I look. I don't need a. I don't need a, a 25 minute explanation on it. But I would like it. I'd like it to be mentioned. Like, yeah, well, yes, we can control it. So, you know, sometimes we lose it. I think he lost it because yes, a, I think a he feeling, took him, he a took feeling brought him out, out of it. it. Yeah, yeah, a feeling of like, what am I doing? Of empathy came out of it, but then he mm-hmm. he without cutting himself went back in. I hope I hope that's not just something that is never explained. I'd like to see it explained. Um, Pilgrim, look, all we've seen is him just stand there and watch it happen. But if you've seen the the coming attractions, he's 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 going to end up fighting a bunch of dudes blindfolded, and I'm I'm so looking forward to seeing him. You know. We're going to see Cressida and, and we're going to see all that. I'm just, what's going on with them? You know what I mean? Like, is, you said, you said they came, that they came from Azra chasing yeah. Baji's si- uh, uh, signal. signal. I say, what if they were, there is no Azra. This is the nomad, this is the, the people of Azra is now nomadic because we know that Pilgrim and Cressida are there to essentially enfold other establishments to grow Azra, I believe that's that, I think that's the situation so does that mean Azra doesn't exist or is this an envoy from Azra or you know what I'm saying like I think I mean listen hey I, that's a great theory uh video idea or something that we can possibly get into but that'll be answered it, next it's, episode it, probably it's very well it's very early that's that's what I wanted to say yeah. it's very early I and mean, it's giving us a real um but it's fun it's little, I enjoy it's it. a little enjoy these questions. It's, it's a little bit of insight that we're getting from Azra now listen um does Pil did did Pilgrim train um Nixon Caster is a good right, question. Yeah. How, did, yeah. did Pilgrim um not necessarily just the martial arts part of it, but did Pilgrim, Cressida, did they train them how to use the gift and how to come in and out of it? I'm excited to see that stuff. Um, um, you know, your questions are, are you know, oh, curious, dude. It's curious to me. Dude, what about the what about the monks fight? What if the monks fight Pilgrim and his and his cohorts? That'd be sick. Yeah, will 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 the because remember the, the monks were badasses. They were the badasses of last season. And will will the monks know of Pilgrim and Cressida? Who knows of these? And don't people? forget. Yeah, Beji you know was I mean? a monk. He was raised by them. He had the gift. So let's. You want to talk about let's talk about MK real quick. Uh, MK's he, a pimp, man. He was uh, that little boy. Was... That little boy's in in his own little opium den, and right, man, that boy's a pimp. That's right. It's it's um it's funny because you know you had said um, MK and and the widow kind of have like this mutual agreement about you know helping get the gift back and. You had what said happens, right? it's funny that no one knows that there are other people out there that have the gift, and maybe once the widow finds this out, she right. can kind of disperse uh, uh, those of um, of MK. But she won't need MK anymore, right? Exactly. Yeah, it's you know I, they they were only you know MK was only there uh, for a brief moment. It's interesting that they had said it's been you know six months. You know, Sonny hasn't been back for you. The widow's putting this stuff into in, into MK's right. head. Right. You know, he even mentioned Tilda. You know, well, Tilda hasn't been back either. You know what I mean? Right. So, uh, as far as the widow, does she even know that Tilda's alive? You know, I don't. Does we haven't care? really had that yet. Yeah. Does she care? So, listen. I mean, super, super uh, episode. A lot of questions that we get. You know what I like, man? I'm gonna tell you. I like. I like. I like that. You know, we have these separate things happening. So you have the widow 
getting Moon as a regent. She's got MK. She's fighting Chow. But then Sonny's got his own thing going on. And I like where everyone is and how, and it's going to be interesting to see how they come together. Well, it's a, perfect, it's a perfect opener for, like, it's a perfect premiere episode. It's great. It was, it was, They're it was showing great. everybody and Absolutely. they did it. Like I said, the pacing. The pacing was great. Absolutely. The pacing and the dialogue, mm. excuse me, were great. Yeah. Now, um, let's 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 round out this video and let's talk about these awesome fight scenes. You have the opening, the opening war, yeah, where her region is the, the flag bearer. She's kicking ass and then just riddled with and arrows. Barrage, like, yeah. You know what I mean? Like that was insane, dude. It um, was, it was, it was crazy after the fact, and yeah. you saw the the view from way up, and you just saw blue and white all over. The, you know, very. All, all this all is. In. Not not to not not for nothing, but this is reminding me a little bit of Game of Thrones. Like it's it's got yeah. it's getting that feel, you know. Speaking of you know Game of Thrones, we you know we found out just yes. tonight we did the little research and Caster familiar face. Yeah. Caster actually played Tom and Baratheon, yeah, um, in Game of Thrones. So that was pretty cool. But um, we we talked about Widow and the Moon fight. That was that was an amazing fight. That yeah. it was so uh, they cool. were all they were all great. I mean the sunny stuff. It's like don't fuck with a, a, a dad oh dude That's, i listen man i yeah right? that was yeah d dude sunny sunny because sunny is everybody's got a flow everyone everyone has their own flow and to me mm -hmm. sunny is the most gritty yeah maybe possibly because daniel wu is the, the true the only true martial artist of the cast but his stuff is so good. Like his stuff reminds me of like the raid and like Ambok. You know what I'm saying? Like yeah. that's his style. He's just like, ugh. Um, Tilda uh, in the caravan. That was some cool stuff. That was the some initial, very the cool initial stuff. Uh, shuriken throw that goes around, goes through the the window Sick. in the van. Some and good stuff, man. Yeah, it was you know just badass of the just, even the blood. A lot of the the gore and. Yeah. Um, it's not it's not too much to where you know I can see anybody saying it's disgusting and this and that, but like Nix when she was like blah 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 and she's blah slicing, blah blah slicing slicing yeah. I love it man I love, I love it. it it's too. good the this acrobatics is stuff yeah, man. of of the Nick Nix uh, caster stuff was really cool too with them swinging on the bars and this they've and always that. had some great great remember last season when they fought in the bus when they were in and yeah. out of the bus and, and the Sunny was. But, and, I mean, these, this show is just this show is just so fun to watch because it is. I, I grew up loving, I grew up loving martial arts. Like Jackie Me Chan too. was is is one of my idols. Like I, I've seen every one of his movies, and you know I know he's not as gritty or and he's not as bloody as as we're talking yeah. about now. But it's just that you know um, all of those, all Bruce Lee, like all of these movies. Well, who, like, who who wouldn't like that kind of action? That's what's so good about this show is not only is it you can you can compare and you can say hey listen is the show more about the fights is the show more about the story who cares because to me <laughs> yeah. the, the story is interesting the enough is badass. and the fighting is exactly. is great so it's like what it's, did we talk about we talked about all the questions now that we're getting with these new characters we're getting Azra stuff where you know we're seeing where everybody is now in the world and and who's left and the barons and all this kind of stuff so the story to me is really interesting the costume design is awesome the fight scenes are are phenomenal you know we're getting our our buddy moon back and i love the 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 rebar claw and it's just he's getting um, a dope ass he's getting a dope ass um the jamie lannister yeah, hand jamie too, lannister man. hand yep. so it listen I started it out. It's a breath of fresh air. The pacing, the speed of the episodes are there. It's, it's boom, great, boom, man. Boom. I'm hoping, Perfect. I'm hoping that they maintain that. Um, real yeah. quick, as we end this, give me your favorite fight scene. Favorite fight scene. I mean, we spoke about this. So I think you know what I'm going to say. I did love the the Knicks and Caster stuff, especially since we never seen them yet. And I think a big part of it is the fact that we learned about the gift and how they can control yeah. it. Yeah. But I, we can also say, and I know what your answer is. Uh, which is the sunny, the sunny fight in the camper. I just, <laughs> right. I love, he had, I, dude, he had that thing rigged uh, with those spikes that came. Remember he put the guy's yep. head on the, to protect so his baby, like, man. Yeah. You so put it's like, spikes dude, you get, on the crib. That's right? what you do, bro. But it was even just like, he, he slammed <laughs> the guy's face into the thing and like grabbed it down. And like, mm -hmm. dude, it's just so good. No and, mercy, and, dude. And fighting no in mercy. such tight quarters. Mercy oh, for the week. Mercy you know? for the week. Oh, that's coming back, by the way, you know. 
Oh, it looks it that. looks cool. It's fantastic. We're talking about the Karate Kid. It's karate Cobra Kai is coming. It's a new yeah. a new series. It's good. Ralph Macchio, who lives is like not far from from where Mike and I live. Actually, um, yeah. I met him when we were at a. I went to a Comic Con. I met. I talked to him about Superman, the Man of Steel. Is when that's when I met him. We were talking oh, about see. Man of Steel. Um, that's, that's interesting. My um, you him know, and my I family. share similar similar last <laughs> names. So that's that's true that's true right it's funny too because i have a story not myself personally meeting him but you know chris knows my family owns a dance studio and uh they compete yeah and uh against uh other other studios in these big competitions and his daughter actually competes with some some uh another studio and he's always at these competitions and yeah. a lot of my mother's uh students have met him and they have spoken with him he says he's a cool guy he's a real um, cool dude yeah yeah but anyway we're getting a little off a little with, off topic anyway so yeah Macho, good stuff that was great, good stuff great episode for bandland you can't ask more uh when we're talking when you're getting into that fighting martial arts genre uh series and i'm excited i'm excited for same. sundays same yes so, good stuff all right <laughs> yes Guys, thank uh, you so much for watching. Uh, we really appreciate appreciate it. Uh, you can, you know, let us know what you thought of this first episode. If you agree exactly. or disagree with any of the stuff, we know you will. So we're looking forward to that. That's uh, right. Uh, write yeah. in those comments, of course, at our Third Person Pod on on uh, Facebook and on Instagram. Check us out, and of course, uh, have a have a listen on iTunes. Uh, we sometimes forget to say that, but check us out on iTunes too. Have a listen when you're driving, doing what you got to do, going to work, going yep. back to work. Hanging out. Uh, thanks for the love. We we love the support, and we know that you guys really are uh, enjoying our Badland stuff. We have that video um, you can check out for any of the leak stuff that we have. Um, that's getting pretty popular. So check those out too, and uh, we we appreciate everything. Yep, that's it, guys. Thank you so much. We'll see you in the next video for Into the Badlands later.